everybody welcome back to my channel it's Andrea and today I have a new project pan intro for you all this is the hashtag that's expensive project pan and it was started by Misty Pans here on YouTube and on Instagram and I'll have both of her accounts linked down below but as the name might suggest it is a year-long project pan where you try to get some use out of your most expensive items that you've been saving for a special occasion which if 2021 is anything like 2020, there's not going to be very many of those in the next while. So might as well get some use out of our expensive makeup. I think, what else? This is a rolling project pan and you pick eight to 10 of either your high end or most expensive items. And I think that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory, whatever goals you're setting for yourself. So I have... I'm starting out with nine items and I don't have a ton of high-end makeup. So once I start working through some of these, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to roll in, but it's a journey and we'll take it together. I, oh my God, it's such a, wow. This video is off to a great start. So let's just start talking about my products. I think for use, I'm not gonna, because these are more expensive, they're, some of them are in nicer containers and I don't want to like mark them up with Sharpie. So I did weigh everything and I'll pop the weights up on the screen instead of just like talking about them. So you can see where I'm starting it. And then every month we'll update it going by, I'll do a usage update, but also a weight update. So my first item is my Nest Fragrances Grapefruit and Verbena Body Mist. This retails for $38 and it smells divine. I love it. And it's a very nice luxe glass bottle. And I've only recently just started getting into fragrances and stuff. So I don't know if it's realistic to try to finish this up this year, but we're going to try. This is 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters so I really don't know if it's possible to finish this up in a year especially considering that I am going to want to use other scents but we'll see how much damage we can do in a year with this. Second thing I have is my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the four ounce bottle and it retails for $33. This is by far my most expensive setting spray and even though I've only used it a couple of times as of right now it probably is in the running to be one of my favorite setting sprays so that kind of sucks when one of the most expensive things or when the most expensive thing in a category turns out to be your favorite but We'll see how long this can last me. I have no doubt that I will finish this this year. I will try to use it a little more sparingly than I usually use my other setting sprays just because it is so expensive, but my goal is to finish it up and I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that. This next item is kind of a gimme and you can see it's been well loved because the cap is broken. This is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Champagne Pop and let me see if I can kind of see inside a little bit. I've, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, probably not well at all, but I've done some, I did some serious damage to this during the summer. Um, scraping, I'm at least to here, but I think I'm further down. This retails for $38, I believe. I think these are like the, their older illuminator, liquid illuminators are discontinued, but their new ones are 38. So I'm assuming they were the same price or comparable. Anyway, I was using that a lot over the summer mixed in with my foundation. So that's probably how I'm going to use it. And it'll probably take me a little while to use up, but I definitely can use it up this year. And that's like my kind of my one gimme item that I kind of allowed myself because most of these are pretty full items that I'm putting in this project. So gotta make something a little bit easy. Next 
item. I have this Sela Creme Rose Hand Cream. I got this in a Kinder Beauty Box. So I'm mean, technically I bought it, but I didn't pay full price for it. This retails for $34 and it smells really, really nice. I like this a lot. And I usually don't like hand creams or lotions. So my goal will be to finish this up. Given how often I use hand cream, that might, that might be pushing it a little bit, but I'm going to do my best because especially considering that it is so expensive for a hand cream, I don't want it to go bad. So I'll be happy to get some good use out of this this year, especially if I work on it and focusing on it in the winter when my hands are dry anyway, then hopefully I can put a good dent in that one. My next three items all come from Ulma Beauty. So first I have my Say What foundation. This is in the shade Fair Lady T3C. This is one of my favorite foundations and I, I'm putting it in the project and I want to use it. However, this is my summer shade. So I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it these first few months. I do have a NYX white mixer and I can try the Becca liquid illuminator in with this to lighten it up a little bit too. So I'm going to try to use it because this foundation retails for $39. It is my most expensive foundation in my collection and I do really like it. So I want to get more use out of it. So we are starting there. I, it's pretty full. I bought this, I think over the summer, but I haven't used it a ton, a ton. So there's a little bit of use on it, but it's, it's still at least a good 80% full, if not more. So that will be, that will be kind of hard maybe to use because it is a pretty full coverage foundation too, but so you only need to use a little bit at a time, but we're going to do our best. And then the next thing I have is oh, I Alma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Lady T2. I also have another one of these in the shade T3, which again is more of my summer shade. So my plan is once I'm done with this, I'll roll the other one in. But these concealers are $25 each. And... I did not pay $25 for either one of the concealers and it is a really good concealer but oh my god $25 for this little thing it's so tiny it's so expensive so I want to use it but it's a really good concealer I do really like it I would if you can figure out what shade you are and when either Ulta or the Oma Beauty website has a sale I would definitely try one because it's depending on how much coverage you need like I've used this basically to spot conceal and it you can pretty much cover your entire face with a couple of dots of it and it looks amazing so it's a really good concealer then the last thing from Oma Beauty is I have a double take contour stick again in the shade Fair Lady which has one well I think this is my only no I have one more one of two cream bronzers I have this it's got the contour on the one side and the highlighter on the other. This retails for $40 and I really like it, but I don't think it's worth $40, which is why I got it on sale for 15, but still it is the most expensive like cream product that I have in my collection. And I, I'm going to try to finish it, especially because I really like the contour side, but this highlighter, is just it's too subtle for me I like something a little more blingy so that'll be good for layering so my next item is my Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Plumagranite I believe these are also discontinued but this retails for $30 my goal will be to hit pan it doesn't matter where I'm not gonna specify like it has to be this side or this side I just want to hit pan, which that's probably a really ambitious goal because blushes take forever, but we're going to try, you know, that's, that's what this is all about. We're trying. And then my last product is going to be, I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to be rotating in a new shadow every month. So for Christmas, I got 12 
Cleona shadows. I got six of the jewel multi-chromes and I got six of the glitter multi-chromes. And every month I'm going to choose a different shadow and just use it however many times I can in the month. I'm definitely not trying to hit pan on any of these right away. I just want to actually get some use out of the most expensive shadows that I have in my collection, which they retail for $25. Well, these retail for $25 Canadian. I'll have to double check what the glitter multi-chromes retail for. I know it's less. I, I want to say maybe they're 15 Canadian or something. I don't know. But for the these at least, they're 25 Canadian, which as of the exchange rate right now, comes out to about $19.46 per shadow. So that's they're definitely my most expensive eyeshadows. So every month I'm gonna pick a new one and I decided based on the color story I have for my Panos eyeshadows this month that I think this shade Kiln will probably be the best option and I'll give it a little swatch you can hopefully see it's got like the red and orange but it's also got green and I think this will go really well with my pan those eyeshadows shades you can see on my finger too some of the color shifts so that is the first I really wish there you can see more of like the orangey gold and then the red it's always so hard to like show the color shifts of these on camera but those are my nine items that i'm going to be putting in this project again it's a year-long project some of these are gonna be hard i'm not gonna lie i don't know there's there's quite a few where i'm not quite sure what i'm getting myself into here but that's kind of the fun of project panning is to see how much you can do and plus get some mainly I'm doing this to get some use out of some of my more expensive things that otherwise I would be saving for a special occasion that's probably not going to happen this year so those are my nine items for this project this year like I said I do think I have some harder items in here but something like the liquid illuminator I know I can finish because I'm already more than halfway done I know I'm going to finish that concealer. And then with my eyeshadows, I'm not trying to finish or hit pan. I just want to use them. So that is it for this first update. I hope you'll go check out Misty's channel and her intro and anyone else who's joining in. You just search for the hashtag that's expensive. I think that's, I don't know if it's that's expensive project pan or just that's expensive. I'll put it down below what the the correct project hashtag is. But I, maybe if you have more high-end items or pricier items that you've just been having sit in your collection, maybe you want to join in too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everybody is having a safe holiday season and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!